When guys talk about hardcore combative training, what they forget is that every small town will have like an MMA gym, a boxing gym, a Muay Thai gym, and there's more hardcore combatives gets done every Tuesday and Thursday in those little gyms than these guys will ever do in their garage on a fucking spa pro or a bob dummy, you know? Because they're actually fighting guys who are fighting back, for starters. Oh, but the guy's wearing gloves. Oh, well that changes everything, doesn't it? Because nothing hurts when you're wearing gloves. But people still get them knocked the fuck out, so maybe that's wrong. You know? Guy's not allowed to bite. Yeah, but you still choke your fucking ass out, and that happens all the time. You know? Those guys got to go easy on you. So you, you've got respect for jiu-jitsu practitioners, Muay Thai okay. fighters, boxers, wrestlers, guys oh, who touch... Over, over and above the hardcore street combat fucking stuff. Over and above that, all day long. So right? you, MMA over what is being passed off as reality-based self-defense? Mostly, to be honest, mostly, yeah. yeah. Fucking boxing over that stuff, right? And um, there's a reason for that is it's results-based. It's results based. Yeah. You've got an outlet. The outlet, the pinnacle is winning the title belt. What is the pinnacle of being a combatives guy, being an instructor? Or getting into a bunch of street fights. No, that's not, that doesn't happen though, does it? People <laughs> talk about it like, I've had so many fights. No, you haven't. Uh, please stop talking about that, you know? But there's a real outlet there. You're trained to be a fighter, you know? Not an instructor. The emails I get from guys saying, how quickly can I become certified in your system? I've already got students waiting. Fuck me. Would you not just jump on that? Pardon? Would you not just jump on that and take it? And... No. No, they usually get, if they get, a, if they get an answer, they get a very short answer, you know? It's like, are you fucking serious? Really? You know? That is your end game. I want to be an instructor. Look at any sport. Who's. Well, look at boxing. Look at the famous boxing coaches. Do you think they wanted to be a boxing coach? That was their motivation. Or did they want to be a real boxer? And for some reason they got injured, they got old, they weren't that good, but they were very clever. They kind of fell into being a coach. You know? Basketball coach. Who goes to university and says, What, you know, what's. Sees their uh, career counselor. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a basketball coach. <laughs> no, you don't. You want to be a basketball superstar. But you're not that good at it. Or you, broke, you bust your leg or something. And you end up doing that, you know? But the guys that come to me and say, I want to be a combatives instructor, it's like, man, you got this thing ass backwards. That should not be your goal. Your goal should be to be fucking awesome. Then teach. No, I want to teach. This is just like the guys who go to X Factor and they want to be famous. But what do you want to do, Polo? Oh, I don't know. But I want to be famous. I want to be famous. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Do you want to sing or dance or play the drums or. Uh, just I famous. Know. I want to be famous. <laughs> so yeah. they've already got that part worked out. It's just the, the, the annoying bit in between the actual what you want to be good at that gets in the way. You know? That is interesting that you... You want, to, you want to be that amazing singer that somebody taps you on the shoulder and says, you know, you should make a fucking record. You should make a CD. And you go, really? Rather than, I want to make a CD. Shall I play an instrument or shall I sing? I don't know yet. But I want to make a CD. You know, people get it asked backwards. Right. I, I want to be a combatives instructor. I want to be a... Why? <laughs> Why? You know, I want to you be know, a combative instructor. You know why I do it? Because I can't be a plumber. Because I'm not clever enough to be a plumber. You know. Why does it make so much fucking sense when you put it in these terms, man? <laughs> you know, nobody does go to college and says, you know what? I want to be a basketball coach. No, they want to be a basketball player. Fuck well, yeah, you want to be a superstar. Yeah. You know, I don't know. You know, maybe they do. Maybe they, maybe it's changed now. But why aren't there? Maybe there are now. You know how you get a crash course in underwater ninja knife fighting combatives, right? Mm -hmm. The weekend, certified in it. Why aren't there any real certifications in? I can't believe it. Shameless. 
why aren't there any crash courses in boxing? Weekend course, now you're a boxer, get in the ring. You know why? Because guys aren't stupid, they know, yeah, I'd get my fucking head punched in. You know? Yeah, weekend course in being a fucking air marshal, you see it, you know? Yeah, okay, fuck yeah. Tactical this, tactical that. Underwater ninja knife fighting, yeah, yeah, yeah. Weekend course, boom, there. Boxing, no, ooh. Boom, you're an instructor whoa, 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 whoa. That sounds like it's gonna hurt. Because people aren't that stupid, they know you can't get in the fucking ring after two days of training and be a boxer. You can't do it in Muay Thai either. You know? No fucking, no way. You can't be a wrestling coach after taking a weekend. Wrestling. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because that shit hurts. 